Dallas, go ahead and introduce your uh, guests and let's hear yes. it. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Ariel, and thank you for, you know, your guests in Las Vegas. Today here we have Mr. Da -da 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 -da, Kareem. Also, he has multiple names, so I'm just going to say Mr. Infinite Hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so basically, uh, Kareem, he is an amazing individual who is an artist, also seeking to become a business owner. And one of the great things that I've learned about Mr. Kareem here in Texas, uh, he lives in Arlington, and uh, basically he wants to better himself when it comes to uh, getting involved in the community. And what I mean by getting involved in the community is uh, doing outreach programs that deals with boxing, as well as uh, building up the confidence of being on stage to do his artistry, which is beatboxing, because he says that it's a lost art. So. Furthermore, uh, let's go straight into it, Kareem. So tell me more about yourself and uh, what you have to offer to, not only just to your community, but also to the world. Well, I am 19 years old. I've been beatboxing since I was five. And that started off with the, you know, <laughs> like, um, it, was a it was a bunch of no random nonsense that created its own form of symphony. Um, I've been boxing since I was 11, so I've had I've had championships, I've had state championships, and what I've noticed is the true way to get into boxing is you have to have support around you. So I wanted to extend that support for the people who don't have it. Okay, so when you say extending that support of people who don't have it, uh, what? What things are upcoming in 2018 that you're going to begin involved in? I know I was hearing some word about uh, you starting a, a boxing class and uh, using it for people to uh, heal from their errors or if their anger as someone like, you know, like box it out versus like, so can you, can you go a little bit more detail about that? How is it uh, a stress-free uh, zone or stress-free program for people? Yes, um, the program I was going to start was Infinite Hands Academy. See, that would uh, consist of uh, an instructor teaching people how to use their own strength, their own anger, their own frustration as propellant to guide positive force. It's, it's an exercise only class, but for those who would wish to spar, we will have, we will like schedule those on Fridays. Like so, there will be a part. There will be a I'm sorry. Session. Let me interject with you. Uh, you were 11 when you start uh, boxing. Do you uh, box as a professional, like uh, everybody here? That popularity, like uh, the guy who was a uh, match with uh, Manny Pacquiao. He does boxing. He's from Australia. Are your yeah. name is well known or just local? Like you know, it local more, talent. It like uh, it was more like I was an amateur. Amateur. I was still amateur. Amateur. Okay. Uh, I was in tournaments for you know my age group, but never anything higher than that. Oh, uh, you would you like to challenge here in Las Vegas? There's so many up here. I have many friends that they actually do matching boxing. You're still young, right? How old are you? I'm 19. 19. Wow, that's a good age to fight to box right now. So I'm if you're amateur and you want to follow your you know I mean dream, why don't you? Is that what you want to do? Boxing was never really my end goal. It was something that I enjoyed. It was something that I had fun doing. But it was never what I wanted to see myself doing 30 years, 40 years down the road. Because as you know, the more, the more you box, the more pain that your body is in. Unless you win, of course. But I never, I never, wanted, to, I never wanted to have to fight for my own career, which is why I've considered beatboxing and all the artistry as something I want to push for and business owner. So, hey, can you, oh, go ahead. can you go in a little bit more detail about beatboxing? I know you say it's a lost art and you want to revisit and, you know, create the academy for that as well. So what is beatboxing? Because I don't want people to think beatboxing is boxing. So what is beatboxing? Because I know it's in the music category. Like, where did it come from? And, you know, ha why did it go away? And why are you bringing it back? Beatboxing is the art of self-made music through your voice only. There are many forms of it. It all started with 
the infamous Dougie Fresh and his click sound. That was uh that was basically when he went That started that started the whole ah, era. Ah, it's like a sound. The music is a sound, you know, yes. from your mouth, right? Yes. Yes. It, it's all made from your it's all made from your mouth so you can either fur, further develop that with a system and make a song from that you'd have the beatboxing looping over on itself and then you further it with making your own song and adding rap lyrics or music lyrics or whatever you want to like put the on filipino there. guy who joined in asia got talent he didn't yes. win but he got in a third place or second place the, the girl who won is rihanna the sacred rihanna there's four group of Filipino. They won, I think, first, second, and third place. Uh, and yes. one of the guys there, yeah, he he's the one who look at the Asia Got Talent, the Filipino okay. guy there. It was really good, actually. He yeah, really he is good. Oh, MJ. He's he's a very good beatboxer. I saw that one. You um, watched that, right? That's hmm? the one. That's beatboxing. Is that the one yes. you're talking about? Yes. Oh my God, he is the best. He, I never heard that in my entire life. There are many different forms of it, though. His his was um his was more club enthusiastic. There's the whole dubstep theme. There's mm -hmm. rap. There's hip hop. There's jazz beatboxing. It it just falls into whatever form you want to create. The first thing about beatboxing is it's whatever sound you feel like you're comfortable with making. Well, you're still young. You're 19. What do you think about our uh, WCBN television network online? A lot of people has the online uh, shows like YouTube. You can just go created your own shows. Uh, you can just be doing Facebooking. You can just be doing Instagram. So what do you think about our technology? Because we're expanding right now that, uh, you know, the technology far beyond. Because in the past, we only have online, exactly online. And now we can connect it to all social media. What do you think about that? Honestly, I think it's a great opportunity for those who don't have a voice and they don't have an access to the normal television stations. It's a great way to further everyone's voices and make it known that people are interesting. Humanity always has this quirky side that they can show at any point in time. So it's a very good opportunity to showcase that. It's pretty cool, right? Imagine yeah. people can afford to just uh, create their own shows, you know, and you know they we already had to reach out and imagine if you have your cell phone, they can watch you. You don't have to just you know hold it and turn on your Facebook. It's connected to Facebook already. So that's the beauty about of our online uh, television network. The reason we call it television network online, a lot of people call it podcast. But I don't consider it as a podcast. For me, it's a television network through online. Because you, you already have, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of viewers. A lot. Of, if you promoted yourself, it's the same thing when you have a show on Cox, right? Yes, you have to yes. promote yourself. And you don't need to go home just to watch your show. You can be watched anywhere around the world as long as there's a Wi-Fi, you know? You can just create, you don't have to be just a talk show host. You can create anything you want, any shows you want. So you right. don't have to and be a focus talk show. And focus is exclusively on what, what makes you tick, what you really mm, You know, why, why I want to watch you, you know? What, what do I get from you if I watch you? You know, those things. Do, are you funny? Are you, you know, do you have anything that it's very unusual or something unique? So. Oh, are you, asking, are you asking why you'd want to watch me? Yeah, yeah, when you, because uh, Impress is bringing WCBM there, so you can get a show from her. You can have your one hour show. You can actually, uh, you know, bring your friends and family to watch you. See, I'm a, I'm a bit of a spontaneous uh, element. So literally, if I had a show, it, it'd be a different thing every day. There'd be new challenges. There'd be voice impressions. It's whatever I have to make of it. Wow. But it would be interesting nonetheless. There you go. So what do you think of press? Are you ready for Dallas WCBM soon? I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Oh. I'm ready too. Ready to, like you say, move forward. 
it's like you say it's always been a journey and uh how can i say it? it's like it's like a, a rocket ship a rocket ship All a right. rocket welcome back about, welcome, <laughs> back, to welcome back with that discussion on the third segment yeah. we'll be right back <laughs> 